Welcome to today's Reptile Side Chat with Elaine A. Powers. Today I'd like to talk about iguana eyes and ears, their vision and their hearing. Uh, it's really quite interesting as I think you'll find. Now this is Chili. Uh, you may have met him before. He's my red morph green iguana. Yes, he is a green iguana, even though he's a lovely shade of orange. And he's going to be our model for today's talk. So let's start off with the eyes. Green iguanas have nice brown eyes, although they can be different colors of brown. They can be this reddish brown, like uh, Chili has, or they can be a darker brown, as some of my other iguanas have. But it's pretty much brown. Now that's in contrast to the rock iguanas that have red eyes, which makes them a little more exciting, but we, we like our brown eyes on our iguanas. Now, you may recognize this eye if you're a fan of the Jurassic Park movies. When they were looking for dinosaur eyes, something like this beautiful illustration that was done by my friend Anderson Atlas, you may recognize that eye from the Tyrannosaurus Rexes in the movie and the Velociraptors because they did use the green iguana eyes as the model for those eyes. So whenever I see those creatures in the movies, it, it think, makes me think of my scaly home companions, uh, and which is why my iguanas are not allowed to watch those movies because I don't want to give them any ideas. But they do have those great eyes that are used in the film industry. Now, I don't know if you realize this, mm -hmm. but Unlike humans, iguana eyes close from the bottom up. Now, I'm not sure I can get him to do it, but we can try. Nope, he's not going to do it. So instead of closing like ours do from the top down, theirs actually close from the top up. And they also have another membrane over their eyes called the nictitinic membrane. And this is actually a clear membrane that goes from the back of the eye forward. And it's a protective covering. So, you know, when you're jumping through the leaves or, or running through the grass and other pointy bushes and stuff, it's good to have a little eye protection. All right, now, how is their vision? Actually, iguanas have excellent vision. They do have color vision. They can see shapes. They even can see a little bit into the, the ultraviolet range. Uh, which is something that people can't do. So they not only need this excellent vision for finding food, uh, being able to tell what's a fruit and what's a nice bright green leaf is important. So that's why they have color vision for that. When you, you know, and, and as I've often said, everybody eats an iguana. So you wanna be able to see the predators coming. So you wanna see the shapes and you wanna see movement. Now, another reason is you can see he has his little dewlap out. Um, he's communicating. And iguanas actually use their head movements um, if the dewlap's relaxed, as it is not now, um, or if it's out like this saying, I'm concerned, I'm a big scary iguana, stay away. Uh, it's for communication. So they have to have good eyesight for communication. But they have the eyesight of a prey animal. We humans are in the predator category. We have our eyes on the front of our face, whereas prey animals, like iguanas, have them on the sides. And so they have a big range of vision peripherally compared to us, um, but they also have a blind spot. So right smack dab in the front of their nose, just a few inches in front of their nose, they actually have a blind spot. So when they're running, uh, madly through the underbrush to get away from a predator. Sometimes they run into things. So um, that happens in houses when you've scared your iguana and he runs into a wall and bounces off. Fortunately, they're built pretty tough. So uh, they do just bounce off and, and keep going. And they can close one eye at a time. So 
if um, Chili wanted to tell me that he was unhappy with my presence, he could close the eye closest to me as a sign of, I hope that when I open this eye, you'll be gone, Elaine. Um, if they're content and relaxed, they'll actually close both eyes. And that's a, a sign of, you know, everything's okay. It, it, life is good. They do like to watch TV. They like to watch things moving, you know, um, so that they like the action films the most. Uh, my iguanas usually like the car chases and exciting things like that. But when I go to give talks in person, I always ask the kids, how many eyes do iguanas have? And they actually have three because they have the, the first two with the excellent vision, but then they also have an eye on the top of their head. So I, hopefully he will let me show you the top of his head. Maybe, maybe not. But there's a little dome. You see that little shiny dome in the top of his head? Um, it's right next to that whitish grayish scale. That is the parietal eye. And it serves a couple of purposes. For one, it helps with the circadian rhythm. Iguanas are diurnal, which means they're active during the day, and then they sleep at night. So it keep, helps them keep the, the rhythm of life going for them like we have. But it also can detect shadows and things moving from above. So if that large snake is slithering down from the branch above it or a hawk is passing over, they'll see the shadow and know to take evasive actions. So they are really have great eyesight. Um, all right, so let's move on to the ears. Now, you see, see his nice dark orange ear? They don't have external ears like we do, but they do have this eardrum that is flush against their, the sides of their face. And it is covered with scales. And um, when it's time for it to shed, he's gonna let me use the, oh, you're okay. It actually comes off as a scale. I don't know if you can see that, but that's the whole eardrum that has shed off as a scale. And he just did this yesterday. Um, so they, this, it's also, uh, the ear is also called the tympanic scale or the, the tympanon. And you may remember this from when I was telling you about how do you tell if it's a green iguana is because it has a subtympanic scale. That's the enlarged scale right there that looks like a fake eye when, it, when he puts his dewlap out. So that's when we say it's below the ear. So the ear is right above it. They actually um, have good hearing. They hear in the 500 to 3000 Hertz range of sound, whereas humans are 2000 to 5000. So they're a little lower on the wavelength scale as far as hearing, but they do recognize voices. Um, that, I don't know if it's a good thing or bad thing that they recognize my voice, but, but they know when it's me. Um, but they can also recognize predatory sounds in real life and on television. Uh, we, I tend not to let my iguanas watch nature films because there are often predators on there and they hear and they see the predators on the TV and they take evasive action, uh, which usually involves them jumping off of me or off the sofa and running for the farthest corner of the house. Now, I used to live in New Jersey. And every year the hawks would migrate over my house. And so they would, you would hear the hawks calling and it was really quite wonderful. And every now and then one would land in my backyard and I could see some hawks that I didn't usually see. But the iguanas hated it because they would hear the hawks. They would know there was something up there and they'd all be looking up, trying to look through the ceiling to see where the hawk was because they knew there was one up there and they wanted to know which way they should be running away from the hawk. So uh, their hearing is very good, not only out in the wild, but in captivity. So that's today's talk. Uh, if you have any questions, always feel free to contact me through my websites, elaineapowers.com and lyricpower.net. Um, I have some great books on iguanas and workbook activity sheets featuring iguanas, um, and they're, they're really 
quite marvelous creatures with good eyesight and good hearing. So thank you for tuning in. And this is Elaine A. Powers signing out from today's reptile side chat. Say goodbye, Charlie. Say goodbye. Bye, everyone. Thank you for tuning in. Hello, I'm Elaine A. Powers, and I want to invite you to watch my YouTube channel at Elaine Powers or Curtis Curly Tail Speaks. I discuss reptiles, reptile facts, reptile care, lots of cool things about reptiles. And you'll get to meet some of my scaly companions, like Blue here. You'll also get to meet the very special Curtis Curly Tail. Hope to see you there.